if you get an older vehicle and notice you're spending too much money on gas these days there's a chance you could improve fuel economy by 50 percent not only can you improve your fuel economy but also increase faster shifting and better braking all with one repair the one way to get this result is by swapping out your ESC ABS module you can find these use ESC ABS modules for dirt cheap at the junkyard the use harness connector and ESC module you see here are 238,000 kilometers newer than my old one this whole set cost me $250 for everything the dealer would have charged me five grand for the same thing brand new but 238,000 kilometers new is pretty brand new to me at this point so let's see how much gas we can save when we swap out for a newer ESC ABS control module alright so I just topped up on gas and reset the meter back to zero so I can uh, test to see how much gas I'm now saving with the new ESC module and we'll come back and check after 100 kilometers and 200 alright we're coming up to 100 clicks we just reached it now and if you look at the gas it's barely reached the tick and it's still it's still within the one tick mark from the pole so that's I've never seen that since replacing the ESC uh, we'll check with, we'll check in again at 200 clicks now we're at 200 kilometers and it's only two ticks down from the full fuel gauge. Alright, so I'm going to stop the test here at 288 and we're at about three ticks, just barely over three ticks from the full side fuel gauge and the reason why I'm stopping it here is because now I can measure the new ESC module with the old one <clears throat> because when I had the old ESC I remember working at a gas station out of town and it took me 144 kilometers there and back every time I had to go work there make the trip and I'd spend about this much gas just barely over three ticks from the fuel from the full line on the fuel gauge so at about 144 kilometers with the old ESC I'd be spending this, this same amount of gas here but with the new ESC module I'm now getting to over 280 or I'm getting 288 kilometers of mileage with the same amount of gas used. That means I'm spending 50% less on gas with the new ESC module. So, huh, I'll say that is a job well done. Another way to test if your transmission is shifting smoothly is to drive around 80 clicks on a highway, something like this, and then shift to second gear using sport mode when you reach about 79 clicks. 
and see if you can drop all the way down to second gear in one second. If you can do that, you know your transmission is working pretty efficiently. So here we're gonna come up to a stop sign and just when I get to 79 kilometers, I'm gonna downshift all the way down to gear two and I'm not gonna apply the brakes and I'll let go of the pedal at the same time and I'll see how fast this thing will get the gear two. All right, so we're coming up here. We have the sport mode now. We're at just 80. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Boom, gear two. See, you saw me downshift like that. And within one second, it got to gear two. And I didn't even have to press any brakes to get this slow to the stop sign. Which means that the transmission is good and very responsive. Because if if your trans if you can't get the gear two at 79 clicks it would, within one second then that means that it takes longer for the transmission to register what's going on and I had that problem with the uh, older ESC where I was at 80 clicks or 79 clicks an hour and then I tried to downshift like I just did and it wouldn't allow me to get the gear 2 unless I got below 50 kilometers an hour. This transmission was not capable of downshifting at a higher speed. And now with the new ESC module, it's downshifting really good now. So I know that this the transmission is responsive and a boost to my speed when I need it. The only caveat with replacing your ESC module is that some cars may need to be programmed at the dealer to sync the ECU computer to the new module. So one way to tell if you need reprogramming is by reading the shop manual, which will mention whether to program your module or not. Here for the 2011 Kia Sorento, we see no mention for reprogramming, so we're good to go without visiting the dealer. The manual only mentions to complete the install and bleed brakes when done. So if you want to save gas, get better shifting and better braking all in one for a low cost, watch this video. Learn how to remove and rewire the ESC ABS system. Automotive for Beginners
Sweet, we'll shrink the heat. Okay, there's a progress. We got green, white, and blue green. Okay, we only cut green, white, and blue. Easier to track. Alright, that's the last wire in. Here is the old connector. 27 pins. to replacing the ESC module if you have an older vehicle over clo reaching close to 300,000 it's probably a good idea to swap out those computers just like you swap out you know your old computers they run faster and this not only you get better gas mileage 50% <laughs> or more for this vehicle gas mileage but you also get faster shifting by 30 kilometers per hour and since you bleed out the brakes you also get better braking three things all at once so I'll say that is a job well done make sure to subscribe like all that good stuff Automotive for beginners we out peace